We're talking with former governor of California, Gray Davis. How is President Obama doing on the national debt? I think he is making progress and he's got his priorities right. The only way we're going to get the debt under control is to put people back to work and grow our economy. So in short term, we need to put people back to work, get them feeling good about the American dream again, good about themselves, and take the dividend from the extra tax revenues coming in and dedicate a good portion of that to paying down the debt. So it's chicken or the egg. First you grow the economy, then you take a dividend to pay down the debt on a regular basis. Is there anything to be learned from California's financial situation these days uh, for President Obama? Yeah, I think it, there is. I mean, I think you, you, you can't let your debt get out of hand because we get it out of hand. It's like, to use a show how old I am, it's like a Pac-Man. It just swallows you and you're gone. Uh, not Greece, you're gone. So um, uh, it's very, very important to keep an eye on two things at once. Growth, putting people back to work, and taking a good chunk of the dividend of that growth and allocating it to debt reduction. You have had a lot of interaction with public sector unions over the years. What have you learned and uh, what, what, can you, what can you say about uh, public sector unions and their role in, uh, in financial situations? Well, public sector unions uh, have every right to uh, plead their case before public officials. But like any other uh, important constituency, uh, they can't overtax the system. Uh, and uh, 10, 20 years ago, we made promises that we thought the economy could support. Turns out it could not. So uh, you clearly can't ask the taxpayers to reach in their pocket and pay even more than they're currently paying for pensions. That's why we have to bring pensions back into line. Eventually, uh, I think we'll, we'll start to move away from a defined benefit uh, pension to one which is a more hybrid situation where everyone uh, takes the risk uh, of the stock market and, and the investment portfolio. If it does better than expected, fine, your pension does better than expected. If it does worse than expected, you don't do as well as you'd like. But the whole idea is you don't shift the risk to the taxpayers. Do you have any reservations about dispensary raids on marijuana dispensaries in California uh, from the Justice Department? Something that President Obama said he would stop, to, he would stop when he came into office. You know, I was against the uh, medical marijuana provision because uh, while I believe uh, there's a legitimate right for people uh, who have a doctor's prescription, specifically for medical marijuana, to have access to it, that an issue was written so broadly. I mean, if you just think your doctor would have given you one if you had asked, which you did not, you get the marijuana. So it was just a subterfuge to, to, to uh, legalize marijuana, uh, which I do not favor. But it, but it is law now, and uh, these raids are still happening. Yes, it's law, but you know, we still have the supremacy clause in the Constitution. Uh, and the federal government, if they, if they feel uh, that, that federal law is being violated, have a right to do what they're empowered to do. Am I happy about it? No. Are there other things that people can focus on in the, in the Justice Department? I would think so. But uh, that's what happens when you pass a law that contradicts federal law. You run the risk the feds may disagree.